Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So if you are running a small shop or if, if you are running a small thing in which you require a bills but you don't want to pay a hefty charge for the person who is making a software, this Google Sheet will help you to learn the things much more better. So I have made a small invoice for you. Okay, for example, if I'm just selecting a soap, the price will be automatically coming over here. I have to just enter the quantity. I will get the total price. Suppose I'm entering gloves. Obviously, I'm entering the quantity, I will get the total price and even I will get the grand total. And yes, even you can just click over here and you can print it and give it to your patient. And after your things are over, you can even click over here, it will get it here. So if you want to learn this, please watch this video from beginning to end properly. Okay. So what we will do over here, we will divide this into two parts. First sheet, we will just open uh, sheets.google.com and we will enter with our email ID and password, simple like that. Now, obviously we will, what we will do, we will just divide into two parts. We'll write down the products, whichever products you are having, you can just list down the product. It is a one-time process only. You have to list down the product and there is a price also. You have to write down the price like this, okay. So here are the products and here are the price. Now comes the main part that is sheet number four. Obviously what you have to do, you have to enter your company's name or not. So suppose, suppose your company name is ABC company, okay. So you have to enter your company name, obviously. You have to write your client's name. So if you want, you can enter your client name also. You want to write the date, so you can write down the date. So equal to today, so today will give you the today's date if it is required. So you can see that today is 7th of May, 2021. So like that, you can just give it. Obviously, you have to write down the medicine name or the product name, whatever you want to write down, you can write down over here. You can even customize this. There is no problem. Okay, you will write down the quantity, whatever things are required in the... Uh, bill, you can write down the quantity, you can write down the price per unit, okay. So I'm just writing price per unit and the total, okay. So these are the very, very, very basic things that I have told you, okay. So if you want, obviously, you can even like this, make a margin. So you can see that it's looking little bit, go. okay. If you want, you can increase the size also by over here, the font size little bit, I want to increase, okay. I want to make it a little bit proper. So it is completely your choice how much you want to make it proper. It is your choice only and you can even color this also, whatever you want or better, you just go to data and there is an option of alternating colors also uh, in the format, I'm sorry. You can just go to alternating colors so you can see that okay, the colors are being alternated. Okay, so you will automatically see. So I will select all this and just make it like this. Okay, so it is looking a little bit proper. Now, obviously you will write down the client names over here and if you need an extra space, you can just drag it like this. Okay, so this is that. So this is a very basic things. You can even make it, you can color it, you can whatever you want to do, you can do it. Okay, that is completely your choice. But I'm here to just share you with the formulas also. So suppose if you want to make a black color, you can make a black color. If it is disappeared, okay, you can make a very light color. Suppose this like this, it is completely your choice. Now, here we have to write down the products. Okay, so what we will do to write down the products. So for that, what we'll go, we'll go for data. And in that we will go for data validation. You can see over here data validation. If you have not checked my previous video, please see in the description box, I've given the link. You can check in the previous video, how to use data validation. So I will just enter the range. Okay, so I will go to my previous sheet and whatever range are there. Suppose I'm having chocolate to like this. I will just select over here and I will just select it one more time. So you can see that it is a range. Okay, if you want, you can just uh, remove this file. So all the values of A, it will be selected and you can just press okay. Okay, and you can just save it, clear. So you can see over here, now you will in the sheet for there is a small arrow and from here you can select the items. If you want to drag this up to the end, what you can do, you can just click over here and drag it. So everywhere you can see there is an arrow and suppose if you just type C, it will just give you chocolate, okay, directly. So it is done like this. If you want to type a M, so it will just give you a mask, clear. And you can see that it is very simple and basic thing. So I'm just erasing all these things. Quantity, obviously you're going to write down by yourself. Now the main thing over here is how we can go through for the price. So for the price, we have a very good formula that is known as VLOOKUP. So you just type on VLOOKUP, very simple formula. Those who have not seen my previous video, please share the in the data validation. I've given a very detailed thing to how we can use VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP from, for example, I want a, a quantity price of mass. So what I will do, I will just click over here the value of A4 here, whatever I will select, I want the price over here. So from where to where you have to select, so I will go to my previous sheet and over here, I will select all these things. Okay, from here, I want my uh, formula to look up for the price. Okay, once it is done, comma, then from where you have to see the price, from the first column or the second column. So obviously I will select the second column and I will select false. Okay, so I'll just do that and I will just enter it. Let us see, 
it will show not okay it, it didn't find out but why because i have not selected any of the values so now suppose if i select a chocolate you will see that 20 rupees mask is of 200 rupees and 95 is of 90 rupees now you can see that okay, the price is coming up okay so suppose if nothing is there okay for an example there is nothing and it every time it shows any it will look very much bad so what i'm doing i'm just adding over here if error okay so suppose if there is an error in the formula it can just not show the value i don't want to show any value if there is an error in the formula so you can see now nothing has been shown but suppose if i select a chocolate you can see that automatically the price has been shown so this is the way the first thing that you have to do you have to set the price is okay so i'm just dragging this formula but before dragging this formula you have to fix your range because you don't have to change your range so i will just select this okay i will just select take a2 to b5 and i will just press f4 if you press f4 the range has been selected okay so now obviously i will just copy down the formula and now everywhere the formula is applied for example here if i select a chocolate you will see that now there is a price of 20 rupees so very simple very basic so i hope you understand up to here now obviously i want the total also okay i want the total also so is equal to what i will do the quantity multiplied by the price okay very simple it is this into this but before see if i don't enter a quantity it will show very much uh, bad in the things so what i am doing i am using a little formula like if suppose if it is is blank is blank means if there is a blank okay so i am just entering is blank okay is blank this one okay this one i am just telling okay suppose i am sorry so if i just erase this i will just select is blank this one b4 if it is blank then you have to enter nothing that means nothing you have to enter otherwise okay comma otherwise what you have to do the quantity b4 into okay into means star into this c4 okay and then you have to close it so it is very simple right now nothing has been shown let us check okay, what is there so suppose if i select a chocolate which is of 20 rupees if i enter a quantity okay, a person wants 12 chocolate opt out automatically you will see that okay the price has been 240 uh, i think i forgot one thing that we need even the grand total if i'm not wrong we need the grand total also so i will write down over here grand total okay of the person what is the grand total of the person and yes is equal to very easy sum 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 means addition addition of what addition of all these things okay whatever he selects over here i have to select and this it will show the grand total okay i will make it a little bit proper this also i will just increase the font it is required okay the grand total should be a little bit big and obviously i will just put a margin also okay so I, it is looking a little bit good so our obviously all the things are ready and clear now just let us test run okay, whether everything is running properly or not and then i will show you how to clear it also very simple it is so suppose if i just select a chocolate if i select a mask and if i enter the quantity 12 rupees so okay uh, sorry i have not uh, tracked the formula so i will just track the formula okay so now you can see i just have to select and i have to track the formula the mask is this suppose if i select uh, for example n95 mask if i buy n10 n95 mask so it is 900 and you can see the grand total has been also shown I can click on print also. You can see I can just select on print and then I can just print it very much easily. I can give the name also. Okay, so I will just put it 100% so you can even see the grand total also. Okay, so you can see the grand total also and you can print it also very much easily. Okay, so you can see and you can print it and you can give it to your customer. Now problem is that every time if I just keep on deleting this quantity and it will be a little bit uh, difficult for me. Okay, suppose I have to select all the things and I have to press delete each and every time. So better, I will show you a trick how we can just put a clear button over here and whenever it is required, you can just click on clear button and everything will be cleared very much easily. So for that, what you have to do, you have to go to the tools and there is an option of macro. Now macro means what? It clears the things that you are doing. Okay. So for example, I'm just showing over here for a reference. Okay, suppose if I select a chocolate and the quantity is 12, so you know that the price is 240. Now what I will do, I will go to the tools and I will just click over here and here record macro. So right now the macro has been recording. So what I will do, I will select, I want to delete the product name and the quantity each and every time. So I will select all the things and I will press delete button. Okay. So you can see over here, the values have been removed. So I will just save this and give the name as uh, whatever you want to just uh, give the name. So reset, suppose I'm giving the name reset. You can give any name, whatever you want and just save it. Okay. So it is saving new macro and I will show you how it will work. So suppose if I just select a chocolate, if I just select 12 quantity, 240 rupees, bill has been generated, it is printed. Now I don't want this bill again. So what I will go, I will go to the tools, I will go to the macros and there is an option of reset. So if I just click on reset, you will see that everything will be deleted. Okay. But I want a button over here. I don't want to just go to tools and every time. So what you will do over here, you'll go to insert and you will go for drawing. 
so it is completely your choice okay, whether you want to go for drawing and you can do it for any time wherever you want okay it is google sheet is very much useful it is not at all so i'll go for some shape or maybe some call out whatever you want okay shapes will be good square shape i will just click on square shape and here i will write down reset okay or any name whatever you want out this is not at all required reset save and close so you will see that in a small time there will be a button i will just drag this button over here and over here i will click on this and assign a script the script which we have already written so i will i i have already given the name of the script as reset so i will just press it okay so now this will be a button for you i will just make it little bit small this button so it will look good also okay so i'm just making it small let us see whether it is working or not so suppose if i done chocolate mask okay 12 rupees uh, 2400 suppose client name i will write down as uh, a b c okay date is given today only that is not a problem suppose mask gloves uh, 13 rupees you can see that 195 rupees so grand total has been done now i have already printed this and given to the customer now i want to just do i will click over here so automatically you will see that in one minute it will get reset it also so this is the way you can create a bill very simple very basic there is no need to uh, worry too much okay you can just pause and look for the formulas also properly and you can uh, customize this also whatever way you want you can make it much more cleaner also you can do whatever you want you can make a customized things okay so and yes obviously you can even uh, keep a transaction id also which can be done so if you want to uh, look at the same kind of videos please like share and subscribe my channel and keep on tuning thank you and have a nice day